human army transformational activities, a journey, a destination, an evolving system in progress. The achievements of the Nigerian army in the last five years cuts across covering areas of doctrine, reorganization, logistics, training, administration, policy, sports and administrative development. sessions, consultants, research, fact checking as, well as connections and disconnections. There's a lot of the military, particularly in recent years. But when you go through this volume, you would actually see that um, the military is indeed the pride of the nation, particularly the Nigerian army. Sacrifice our men, you know, make for the country not just the country, for the sub-region and the world at large. And all the efforts that the leadership has put in, sometimes under very challenging circumstances, you know, to ensure that the, um, the country remains safe, the country is secure, and uh, citizens can go about their business uh, without any fear of anything. So this book is a must read for you. Read this book, you get to understand the army better. And when people say certain things, they do not align with what the army stands for, you'll be able to defend it. The paradigm shift between army chronicles of events and pictures, but a scholarly material that really chronicles the ideologies behind the respective transformational initiatives. To say the least, the compendium has set the bar for future publications, not just for the Nigerian army, but the other services and agencies of government. One may then ask, what informed the compendium? The is a renowned scholar and an accomplished historian. On many fora, he had always talked about an idea of documenting some of our achievements and transformation programs for reorganization in the Nigerian army has been on structuring for effective projection of combat power in the likes of Theater Command Operation Lafayette Dole, Division, 8 Division, 4 Special Forces Command, Directorate for Force Generation and Motorcycle Battalions. In exploiting the air and speed for improved performance, there is in place the Nigerian Army Aviation 50 Space and Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Command. When we have peace, okay, economic activities thrive, business activities, you know, goes on, farming activities goes on, and in a lot of areas that we, you know, we we have uh, we have operated, there has been there has been some level of calm and some level of activities going on. But you know, we urge all other you know, security uh, agencies, all other uh, elements of government also and play their own role so that everything will now uh, metamorphose into a complete, you know, complete package. While we are doing our kinetic, carrying out our kinetic efforts, the non-kinetic uh, also be at play so that everything balances up at the end of the day. Training and operations in the Nigerian army have been revolutionized through the adoption of new approaches to exercises as well as the establishment of the Special Forces School, Land Force Simulation Center, Nigerian Army Cyber Warfare Command and the Directorates of Language among others. These have brought about countering insurgency and asymmetric threats, dominance of the cyberspace in defense and attacks. It was a total review of our training packages that were to meet with the contemporary security uh, threats that were bedeviling the nation. Apart from that, this training was holistic in the sense that it allows for the total training of the individual, both physically 
emotionally and leadership at the various uh, structures a lot has been achieved especially in building the capacity of officers and men of the Nigerian army in the area of training which leads to operational successes. Commitment to human resource development through research and functional military education led to unprecedented breakthroughs in militaries around the world. Establishment of the Army War College, Nigerian Army Resource Center, Nigerian Army History Institute, Nigerian Army University Pew, Tukur Yusuf Buratai Counter-Terrorism Center, and the Nigerian Army Command Schools speak volumes and attest to education for battlefield success and intellectual development for sustainability which are key to successful operations. Anywhere in the world, you allow those who are serving to face their routine activities, engage their advanced to do their job, let those who are retired or civilians start thinking for them. They bring a problem here, we look at the problem and give them recommendations that we believe could work. And that's what we've been doing. Already we've run eight courses and it's been wonderful. Because now the belief is those guys can work anywhere and is be able to relate with the locals, hand their trust, hand their confidence, and above all get information that we process into intelligence to conduct the operations. A lot has been achieved on innovations and logistic support, strengthening local maintenance capacity, as well as on building strategic partnership for sustenance. All these ultimately lay credence to transformation in Kitty and stores capability and also touch the directorate of procurement. On institutional strengthening is in place the special retrofitting and repair workshop, artillery repair effort and the command engineering depot. Collaborations are in place with ProForce Limited, Nigerian Machine Tools Protective Solutions Limited, Nigerian Helicopter Project, Buffalo Engineering and Technical Services, among other international partnerships. We have set in motion everything that will make us to institutionalize this vehicle production. So from our technical crew, from our engineering crew, from the reverse engineering desk we have set up, from the uh, patenting arrangement we have made for our products, we have done every institutional framework to make sure that this project, which is a job to be highly successful, will be sustained. We are looking at producing different variants of both armored and non-armored vehicles for the armed forces in the next five years. We want Nigerian Army to be self-sufficient with locally made vehicles so that it can grow our economy. We employ more people, we are not losing our foreign, uh, uh, our currency because of the value. We, are not, we, don't, we don't need Naira. The raw materials we are researching into it will be locally made in Nigeria. This achievement has been based on the Mr. President uh, initiative in building many military industrial complex for Nigeria. With the signing of uh, Presidential Order 5, which also assisted in procurement of engineering, engineering resources and some other requirements locally, it has triggered or stimulated the interest of the, of the Chief of Army staff, who has keyed into this Presidential uh, initiative to ensure that Nigerian army could undertake some of research and development to produce locally made uh, defense logistics, combat vehicles, radios, and even some of the uh, items that also could provide uh, support civilian organizations like uh, the, the collaboration has been able to produce mobile bomb modeling machine that we have used to provide water in the barracks as well as uh, several communities in Kaduna Metropolis. Infrastructural development is an imperative for posterity, enhanced service delivery and value addition in the public and private sectors. 
On this plant, this has remained a priority of the Nigerian Army High Command as can be seen with the production of Izuku Emra, Tsukurukura Thai Center for CT Coin, the Benedium University, Barracks Investment Initiative Program, Department of Projects and Programs, Nigerian Army Special Projects, the Nigerian Army Farms and Ranches Limited, Upgrade of Nigerian Army Hospitals, the Nigerian Army Reference Hospital, the Duguri, Nigerian Army College of Nursing and the Magnificent Army Command and Naowa Hospitals in Abuja. This is a good avenue for military civil relationship because uh, the hospital, like I said, is open to the public. The, we've had quite some patronage from civilians so far. Then some organizations are even willing to uh, partner with us to use this place as their primary care center for their staff, uh, which we are working at now to see whether it can be used. Uh, this hospital is an army hospital, uh, so we are available to support the army in any uh, civil military uh, activity they are engaged in. We have uh, experts in environmental health and uh, preventive health. This uh, can be used to address some aspects of preventive health, health education, outreaches to communities, and uh, provision of uh, support to the needy, which is all part of uh, Nawa humanitarian uh, vision. So the hospital can play a very pivotal role in carrying out this to reach out to even the beyond the military. Doctrinally, the Nigerian army has repositioned itself to engage in contemporary operations in a comprehensive approach template, including the Nigerian army human rights policy, communication technology, sexual exploitations, deployment of officers to ministries, departments and agencies, as well as production of new logistics handbook. On the whole, the compendium puts us through the reality that a leader is one who takes subordinates to their destinations and adequately empowers them for the future. The compendium is a must-read reference material for all strategic leaders who seek to understand the ideologies behind the many transformational activities in the Nigerian army in the last five years, as behind every success, there is a pillar. Lieutenant General Tuku Pratai's driving skills, coupled with the strength of military institution, knows that with requisite direction to counter contemporary and unforeseen threats, tops the priority. To his strides and unique personage, with the coinage, the man Tukur Buratai, tough on terrorists, gentle at heart. Being the 29th Chief of Army Star, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai mounted the rostrum of office at the time best described as a paradigm shift in global security and warfare management. For the man, Tukur Buratai, sustaining the building blocks and the strides already attained should continue advancing towards greater heights, since it is evolving yet to no destination. A journey towards greatness and strategic attainments should not wait, but should continuously gain traction. Others, just like Lieutenant General Tukuru Yusuf Buratai, came, played their role, but his legacy arguably outlives his time, propelling to higher heights. I want to say the continuation of the professional standing of the Nigerian Army. I want to see the Nigerian Army being responsive continuously to the needs of the troops, to the needs of uh, the nation's security uh, architecture. I want to see that uh, the welfare of troops are uh, well taken care of at all times. I want to see a very highly motivated with high morale troops, you know, uh, even when I must have left uh, the service. Uh, continuous uh, maintenance of troops, accommodation, offices, and so on. Um, intensive training, uh, as well as uh, equipping of all our units and formations are very fundamental. This. Uh, the legacies I have left and I look forward uh, after retirement that uh, this will continue. If the current transformation evident in the compendium of Nigerian army are built on faithfully, the near future for the Nigerian army speaks volumes. The Nigerian army 
having stayed the course since inception, not minding the operational challenges, is propelled by a vision which is now on a mission. Over the years, it has been through thick and thin, but has recorded invaluable strides in many operations and engagements made possible by the caliber of officers and operational structure in place. The very best can only happen after now on sustainability plans, as the future from today is just like tomorrow. The determination and driving force, however, should be the morale in sustaining the evolution rolling along with visible strides that outlives each passing day. I salute the courage and the gallant efforts of the personnel of the Nigerian Army. I am highly impressed with the conduct of operations that continue to flesh out the terrorists from their enclaves. I ask you to sustain this great effort. Let me, at this point, salute the Chief of Army Staff for his laudable efforts at transforming the Nigerian Army. He has keyed into the federal government change agenda, and I particularly commend his trust in the critical areas such as innovative and inventive approach to producing military hardware, infrastructural development, restructure, and reorganization, among others, with significant results, particularly in the ongoing counterinsurgency operations and other operations across the country. Yeah!